Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol K-A-L-Y. We will take a look at the 30-minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30-minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30-minute time slices. I like to do this time frame and it's a good job of telling the quote-unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I don't mean to state the obvious, but I will anyways. Very nice movement today, not only from a price action perspective, but you look down here at the volume, and by far the biggest volume this chart has had for quite a while. So a lot of eyeballs on this one. So let's map out some levels of support, and then we can talk areas of resistance. So the first level of support is what I would call the ideal level. I mean, if you say, hey, Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute strongest going forward? That would be if the price can stay up here above that 006 mark. Now, don't get me wrong, if the price falls below 006, I'm not saying the entire chart's broken or ruined or anything like that. But yeah, if the price can manage to actually stay up above that mark, that would certainly be a huge sign of power going forward. Taking a step back and looking at things from more so the big picture point of view, that is where the purple line comes into play, the famous 50 period simple moving average, keyword being moving. As time goes by, that line is going to move itself higher and higher. So a very basic yet highly effective way to judge the health of the move, this right here being defined as the move, just watch the purple line. As long as the price stays above that line, as the line itself moves higher and higher, then the bulls are in full health, the bulls are in full control. However you can best visualize that, you know, that is what's being represented. Again, yeah, staying above 006, that would be great, but from the grand scheme of it all, as long as the price is above that purple line, the bulls 100% own the chart. As far as where the sellers are hanging out at, Nothing complicated here other than the fact that, you know, the, the party stopped today up there at 0082. So 0082 will be public enemy number one going forward. But all in all, as long as the price keeps on doing what it's been doing, resistance levels really don't matter. What do I mean by what it's been doing? Well, if you look at where the lows have been over time, these lows just keep getting higher and higher. So if you envision these as stair steps, well then yeah, as long as the price keeps on building stair steps in the upwards direction, then eventually resistance levels will fail. So just focus on healthy consolidations, focus on building higher lows, like I said, uh, you know, which is what the price has already been doing. And as long as that occurs, then everything else will take care of itself. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.